the uh, uh, what's the Arteta should know better. Arteta should know better. He can do a job, but he's not a left back. He gives some of the quickest wingers in 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 in, in the in, in, in the world. Even though, like I say, individually, Bayern are still a fantastic team individually, but collectively they are in shambles. But individually, those players are quality and they can hurt you if you give them the time and chance, which they did, and we saw it. So I'm hoping we have learned from that. So I'm expecting that not to put uh what's his name? They keep him in that position. We saw Zinchenko that is almost being insulted all the time by Arsenal, Arsenal fans. Nobody saying he, uh, uh, Zinchenko is a fantastic generational left back. Nobody saying so, but he can do a better job. Key note, he can do a better job than Kivio as a left back. Regardless of what people are always insulting him, that like can be clumsy. Nobody says he's not clumsy, but we saw the improvement when Zinchenko, that is not maligned by Arsenal fans, came in for Kivio. Even though he struggled a little bit, because come on, you're playing against Sani, you're playing against uh, what's his name, uh, Mr. Coleman, you are playing against the Gnabry. Those are so they are, they are tricky customers as wingers. So let's not let's not be hyperbolic, right? He might have a bit of clumsiness in him, but he can still do a better job than Kivio, who is a center half by trade and by training. Even though he can do, it, he can be an option there. So, but a better option will be playing Zinchenko over Kivio in that left back position. We don't know why Tomias wasn't played. We don't know why I see carrying something because I'm, I was surprised. All of you are surprised why Tomias wasn't given uh, game time. Maybe we'll see him this weekend against Aston Villa. Party came in. His passing was good, but it's looking like Pate has lost a yard of pace. Maybe it's time to give Pate more playing time. Maybe he can recover more. I don't expect Pate to get back to his athletic best. He's getting aged and uh, getting more, uh, getting older rather. And uh, he has had a few injury uh, injuries in the last few years. So that can actually take a toll on your body. And he hasn't played so many games. So maybe that's why he's looking shocking when it comes to athleticism. Because what I saw as the recovery pays from party against Man City and against Bayern is not looking impressive, to be honest. But like I said, sometimes it could be because these guys are not fully fit. They've not played extended uh, uh, games to actually recover their optimum best in terms of fitness. Maybe that's why. So I expect party to come back to the team. I expect uh, Tomiasu to get some game time. I expect uh, Kivio not to start, not because I hate him, just because he's not just great as a left back and we've seen it time and time so uh, we expect to see a much better Martinelli Martinelli didn't play well uh, against Bayern maybe because Kivio was behind him that was why we'll find out this weekend against Aston Villa maybe we can see him play and see whether he can improve his performance Kai did not have the best of performance against Bayern that was in the Champions League let's see if he can reignite the form he has been showing in the Premier League in the last few games Jesus came in. It was a difference maker. That fantastic assist, that dribbling of uh, ghosting past two players to lay that ball for, for Trossard. Maybe Jesus deserves a start, but we know we have to manage that knee injury is is suffering from. So let's see what Mikel Arteta will go for. But I'm hoping that Mikel Arteta has learned from his mistakes because let's be clear, Mikel Arteta has some bad mistakes, especially playing Kivio as a left back. Jorginho was not, almost non-existent in the game against Bayern. And Rice was, for me, was too forward against Bayern. You are a better six. You are not an eight. Now, can Rice do a, a job as an eight? Yes. But it's not optimal. You do not get the best of Rice as eight because of the skill set. But can you do a job? Doing a job is right from being optimal and great at the position. So, for me, the greatest position for Rice is six. That is where his skill set are best used and optimal. So let's see this the, the, this weekend. We need a few changes. I'm hoping, like a Smithro can get a start. We need a bit more creativity in, when it comes to that age. Either you play Smithro, Kai, or Fabio Vieira, who needs a bit of game time. I'm expressing a few changes against Aston Villa uh, on, on Saturday. And I, on Saturday, no, Sunday rather, and I'm expecting a victory. We have to continue our momentum in the Premier League. Yes, we had a bit of a hiccup. In the Champions League, back to Premier League, we are still on top of the table. We need to push on and press on on the momentum. We cannot afford a draw against an Aston Villa. We know the missing Douglas Lewis is suspended after accumulating 10 yellow cards, so he's suspended for the game. That's one of their key players. But they still have a few other players. Holly Wapkin, we know he can be dangerous. We have a few players too in our ranks that can be dangerous. So, looking forward to that match. Um, I've shoved my disappointment against Bayern aside, and I'm looking forward to the match against Aston Villa. We cannot afford a draw. We have better players. We are best uh, placed teams. Aston Villa don't have the momentum. We have the momentum. So it's looking like 
this is a match we should get back to our base and recover as quick as possible. We have enough resting time. We played on Tuesday and we are playing on Sunday. As of are playing on Thursday and they are playing on Sunday. So we have at least 48 hours of recovery time ahead and better than Aston Villa. And we should be making the best use of it on Sunday when we welcome them into the Emirates. So I'll see to a proper review regarding the match. I'm just looking ahead to the Villa match and uh, talking about disappointment that some of us are uh, faced against Bayern. Let's put aside it happens. Do not overly react to the banter from the opposition fans. It comes to the game, right? Banter from the opposition fans comes with it. You don't expect them to be sympathetic or benevolent to you as an Arsenal fan. They, they, you can see the amount of hate alongs we had to witness when Arsenal explained. No other teams get so much hate alongs when they are playing. It just shows how a lot of fans are not just uh, uh, they don't, how do I put it? Don't just uh, enjoy Arsenal having a 